Kia ora, this is a little tutorial for banjo lesson number three. I'm going to admit that it's not my first take. Uh, the first time I saw myself on a screen, and it was a lot of tension in both hands, I thought, eh, that is too much hand tension. The internet does not need this. So let's take a moment to find a really nice, upright, relaxed posture. Everything's stacking on top of itself. And we're going to review the two G major scales that we did. The low one first, followed by the high one. So we're going to start on open G, and the first time we're just going to use a downstroke on every note. Three, four. Now let's try using downs and ups on all of the faster moving notes. Three, four. When you're confident with that scale, let's go to the high G scale. So we're going to start on this note here, it's also called G, it was the peak of the low scale. And remember that we now need to use the third fret here instead of the fourth one. Three, four. This time we'll try using downs and ups on each of the fast moving notes. Three, four. Alright, and now we're ready to try the beginning of the National Anthem. So let's just do the first little chunk of the song a few times. We start once again on this G right here. And we're going to use downstrokes only the first time. Let's try that again. Now this time we'll try using a down and an up in that one little spot where there are faster moving notes. Toru fa. All right. If you're feeling brave and you want to try a little more of the song this week, then join me. I'm going to now play the whole national anthem from the top. Not too fast. Toru fa. Kia ora and good luck.